Well, how do that, chums? As I, Captain Stephen, today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewer verse, I have got a multi tool that I want to share with you, and it's an alien variety. Oh, for fudge's sake. We've got to dial on in and charge on up this portal. I really wish. I mean, after the first time you do this is quite good fun. The second time you do it, it not so much. But when you get like to the hundredth time of recharging a frickin' portal, this is tedious as heck. I don't know how. Hello Games Think. This is a fun game mechanic and charging up all these things. If you have the commodities to place in there, it's a shame you can't just do a one button click in the middle of this to charge up the whole frickin' ring. Right, so here we go. Let's just stick these in there. I'd stop grumbling in a moment. Chicka boom, chicka pow, and here's the last one. And done, and diddly, and done. Right, now this is actually in the Euclid system. This is going to be a red multi tool, and it's an alien variety, and it's got a crystal sticking out of the front of it, and it looks freaking demonic. Right, so let's hit on in the code. We've got a Diplo, we've got ourselves a Birdie Man Bird Bird, a Reflexion, and a Double Sunset. Heck yes, we do, or Jellyfish, whatever you want to call that thing. Awesome, we've got ourselves one of those Whirly Man Twirly Black Holes, and an Eclipse. Nice. Followed by a Waypoint or a Bloon. Brilliant. Some people call it a Pin. And we've got ourselves a Reflexion, or a Tiki Face, and a Beetle, yes, yeah, very nice, Ringo perhaps. And then what, who we've got down here? We've got ourselves a Whaleyman Werewell, or Fish, and another Black Hole, Whaleyman Twaleyman thing. Nice! And that has activated the portal! Boom! Yes, I'd have someone's eye out if you're not careful. Stand back, and let's jump on into this whirling, swirling blue mass. Heck yes! And hopefully we're going to eradicate upon this lovely irradiated world. Yes, and it's discovered there by James P. Vale. A massive great big thank you to James P. Vale, also known as JP. Thanking you, sir. Yes, a member of the Trident, nonetheless. You, sir, are awesome! You can have yourself an air grab. Here you go. A chunk of air for you. Don't breathe it all in at once. Heck no, save it for a rainy day. Lovely. Let's take on off and let's fly on over to... Where are we flying over to? <laughs> There's a comms ball. Brilliant. Hopefully that's going to be the marker. Nice one, James P. Bell. Hopefully it's the marker. Yes, if you do come here, people, and pick up this multi-tool, put comms balls near to the existing comms ball. Don't just go and litter the whole planet with freaking comms balls because then people won't be able to find this, will they? But if you do want to find this and um, it is covered in comms balls because despite what people say, things go astray, there's the actual coordinates. You can hit up those and fly to those coordinates and fly here manually. There you go. There's another thanks for... Yeah, see, there you go. This comms ball's in the right place. Just follow that as an example. Put comms balls near here. Nowhere else. Heck yes. Brilliant, awesome, or by the portal, I suppose. Two places, by the portal or here, but nowhere else. Okay, people, lovely jubbly, because this is an awesome, fantastical find. Yes, it is. Brilliant, let's head on in. It does say to reload at the station there, or the anomaly, to actually bring it into S-Class. I'm just going to check to see if it is an S-Class already for me. Let's go and have a look at the wall, and oh, 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 look at that. It's a beautiful-looking multi-tool. This looks like it could do some damage. Overloaded Vascosidogo scoop. Yes, completely minced that up, didn't I? That's pretty darn freaking nice. Yes, and it's my colours as well. Red and black. And it's got a little touch of white on it too. Hmm, do I swap one of my multi-tools for this multi-tool? I do like it. And I'm kind of thinking I should, because at the moment all three of my multi-tools are experimental. I've got two experimental sort of rifle-y type cannony things and then i've got a pistol let me show you my array of multi-tools so the one i've got on my person now is my all-rounder yeah i like this one so let me show you that so this one i use for just you know scanning going to my planet hopping doing exploration this is my go-to multi-tool for a bit of everything it has got an op mo uh, geology cannon for killing those little green meanies as well this one is for combat. Yes, my gravity engine. You can see there it's got a bit of red on it. It's also got the incinerator in here. So this is the multi-tool I like to use for clearing out derelict freighters. It's also got a lovely scatter blaster in there. But you can see their damage potential is 9,000. But an alien multi-tool will push over the 9,000 barrier into like the 10,000s. Oh, yes. So I do maybe want it. I mean, I've got this little pistol. But this little pistol, its damage potential or scanner range is never 
never going to match the two multi-tools I've got already. So I'm thinking maybe this alien multi-tool would be perfect for getting over the 10,000 damage potential barrier. And also, if we do get a new alien sort of threat that may emerge from the void at some stage, which I keep banging on about, which never seems to happen, maybe this would be the multi-tool to do that, or be a useful one. I just can't make up my mind. Do I keep this one? Because it looks like my logo, doesn't it? Or do I take the alien multi-tool? You know what? I'm going to take the alien multi-tool just because there could be a threat, a new enemy at some point, a new challenge for all those players that have S-classed everything. And that does make sense that something might come into the game that may cause more of a threat and more of a worry. So I'm going to do the exchange. I'm going to do the exchange. And at least it gives us something to work on, doesn't it, people out there in the view of us? Yes, I now have a multi-tool to do up. So as well as filling up my catalogue full of cooking stuff, I now have to find a decent system that sells S-class multi-tool modules to do up this little kitty and turn it into a freaking mega beast of a multi-tool. So yes, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be making a nice little playlist based on this multi-tool of how to upgrade and install S-Class mod tools, modules to make your multi-tool over 10,000. Heck yes, for you guys and the viewer verse, and also for me. <laughs> Mainly for me, to be fair. Right, let's pick up that. The yeah, standing of Corvax has gone up. What about this one over on the wall? Is that going to give me some nanites? Because I will need nanites to buy those modules for that multi-tool to make it a tool of freaking pure ethel. Awesome. Let's go check out the station in this system. Let's see if this station vendor sells any S-Class multi-tools that I want well modules that I want so the modules that I'm after are the geology cannon definitely want that but I also want the scatter blaster because that will push the damage potential over that 10,000 range and I'm not too sure what to go for as a secondary weapon type in this so I'm gonna leave that to you guys and a few verse yes if you're watching this on a live poll well a live stream or a you know a playback premiere right now there will be a poll for your votes what multi tool attachment should be in this multi-tool. Heck yes, hopefully Captain Steve has been running that poll for a while and hopefully the results will be on screen in a mo. Heck yes, well let's go on in and let's see what multi-tool attachments this guy sells inside of the station. So yes, if you want to know where to go to get your multi-tool modules, I will show you just in case you don't. The ship has been part. Nice one. And we're going to head on over to the opposite side of the gantries. Here we go. So over this way, I'm going to fly up here, slot the ramps. Yes, awesome. Go past all these little light desks. Hello, scrap vendor. We don't need him. He does sell X-Class packets, though, which could be quite cool. I could X-Class it, to be fair, couldn't I? But you know what? Let's stick with the modules that I know. Awesome. So there we go. There's an A-Class already here, people. So that must be what they're on about, about the reloading to get the S inside the station. Righto. Excellent. Well, hello there, my my little friend, how are you? And let's have a look what we've got under the desk. He's got plasma launcher, but he's only got a blue scatter blaster. No, he hasn't got the modules we're looking for, people. So, yes, the search will continue in the next riveting episode for you guys out there in the viewer verse. I guess it will. So, yeah, this guy hasn't got it. But anyway, until next time, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add Froze Revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.